praise God once again. God gets all the honor and glory. We are here to become born again Christians and serve the most almighty high God. Now, what I want to talk to you about is taking up your cross. As Christians, we are to deny ourselves, pick up our cross, and follow after Jesus. Walk in his steps, walk in the tracks that he makes, walk and follow and invite people into the kingdom of heaven. See, we're not really here to just invite people to church and fill up a bunch of pews in a church. We're here to literally fill the seats up and fill heaven up with people. People that are in the world, unbelievers and sinners who are heading to hell and are living in dirty, wicked sin that's going to cost them eternal life. And you see, when you have sin, the wages of sin is death. But you can get forgiveness from those sins, and it's from what Christ did on the cross for your sins. See, Christ made a way for you to be forgiven, and it was on the cross. He was beaten, whipped for our sins, and he was nailed to the cross for us. He died, went, and he rose on the third day, ascended into heaven. When he died and rose again and left, he had a way planned for us. Now, what you need to understand is this. If you don't ask forgiveness of your sins, and if you do not truthfully mean what you want, if you do not mean to ask forgiveness, and you do not care, and you're faking it, well, your destiny will be hell. And I'm telling you, hell is brimstone and fire. And it's a place you don't want to go. Because when you go to hell, you'll go to hell forever. You're going to go to hell, and you're going to burn like you can't even imagine. You're going to burn, and you're going to get tormented. That's simple. You think stuff on here, stuff in the earth is horrible? There's nothing worse than being in hell, eternally separated from God, burning from head to toe, covered in fire, in flames, turning into hell the wicked turn into hell it's not a place you want to go my friends hell is a real place hell has enlarged itself hell is eternal separation from god hell is a place of regret see people when they're in hell they're not only are they getting tormented physically but they're getting tormented mentally because in mentally they're remembering all the times that they rejected Jesus Christ. They're remembering all the times they had a chance to get their life right. And they chose to procrastinate. They chose to deny Jesus. They're remembering all the times they had an encounter with a Christian that was warning them. Telling them, hey, you need to stop doing what you're doing. You need to look at your life. You need to see where it's going and you need to get it together or you'll burn. You're going to remember all that. And it's going to be painful because you're going to hate yourself there. You're going to be so mad at yourself. You're going to hate yourself for that. Because you refuse to accept the gift of eternal life. Jesus don't want you burning in hell. He made a way. He made a way to save you and to bring you out of that pit forever. And I'm telling you though. There is a huge penalty you will pay if you don't have Jesus Christ. Dying in your sin and burning in hell is the worst penalty you'll have. Okay, you don't want to hear, depart from me. I never knew you, you worker of iniquity. You don't want to hear that. Because he means it. Once your life on here is over, there is no second chances. And this is the thing. You can die at any time, guys. Any time. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. You're not guaranteed a week, a year, or even five years. You're not guaranteed at all. You can die at any moment. 
Life is nothing but a vapor here today, but gone tomorrow. And I want you to know something. And I want you to listen. Remember this. When Jesus sends you to hell, when you go to hell, it's not because he wanted to. It's because he's honoring your choice. Because you rejected him. You rejected him. And you treated him like garbage by spitting in his face with your sin. You turned on him. You ignored him. You rejected his grace. And you did it your way. And now you get to pay up for what you've done. And I'm just telling you that very clearly. This is not hate. This is actually love, I'm telling. I'm telling you this out of love because I don't want anybody to go to hell and burn. I don't want nobody in hell burning. Because there's nothing appealing or wonderful about hell. It is a real terrible place. And you will regret that you rejected Jesus. So please, here's the thing. It doesn't matter what you've done in your life. It doesn't matter what you did. It doesn't matter how big or small the sin you committed. Jesus can forgive you. Jesus can set you straight. Jesus can redeem you. You can become a born-again Christian loving and obeying all the commandments of Jesus and living holy, he can get you right. But you got to be willing. Okay? You got to be willing to get right with God. You got to be willing to surrender. You got to be willing to be obedient. You can't just be walking this earth doing what you, doing what you want to do and living like a devil out of hell. No. You got to get right with God. God, you want to hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. You want to hear that and be welcomed into heaven forever. You don't want to hear, hey, I don't know who you are. Depart from me. You don't want to hear that. Come on. Let's not play with our soul because guess what? In in the Bible it says, what profit, does it, what profit is it a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Nothing. There's nothing on, on earth that is worth profiting your soul. You can just profit anything you want. Have all the riches you want, wealth you want, possessions. None of it will matter. And if you lose your soul to it, you're done. Come on. Let's not be fools. Let's be wise. And stop condoning sin. Stop condoning homosexuality. Stop condoning abortion. Stop condoning all this you know, don't be going out drinking no more. Don't be going out partying. Don't be going out smoking that weed and those cigarettes. And stop watching pornography. You know, stop playing all those violent video games. And, you know, stop listening to that secular music. Come on now. We got to get, get right now. There's a lot of things we got to do to get right. And my next video eventually will be talking about secular music and why I know for a fact we should avoid worldly music, which I'll get into some other time. But I'm telling you, if you die tonight, where would you go? Heaven or hell? Where would you go? Heaven or hell? I pray you all make the right choice and become a born-again believer in Christ. You leave this wicked world behind. You forsake it, and you come to Jesus. He's waiting for you. He's ready to clean your life up, and he's willing to forgive you. Are you willing to do the same? God bless you guys. Love you.